start playing it and see if we can't figure it out. Uh, today we're going to go with the GameCube. I just got a bucket load of games. So, I think it'd be easier just to pick a number. I got like 20. So, number 1 through 20. How about 17? So, I could probably count backwards from the end of my stack. <laughs> Looks like number 17 will be... Insert drum roll here. I can't do it, sorry. Uh, spinning, spinning, spinning. And let's see what we got. Oh, the suspense is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're a particular fan of the franchise, you may already know what we got. Oh! This is actually very appropriate, considering um, Sonic Generations just released. Mm-hmm. Cool. This will be fun. Uh, we'll go with a new file. That was a good number to pick. Yeah. There's actually the Sonic Generations has a few levels from Sonic Heroes in it. Which I would actually consider this to be one of the, um, after the whole Dreamcast Sonic games, the adventure duo that was kind of lame this <laughs> yeah <laughs> was, this was probably the first 3d sonic game that kept that kept things and brought things back to the 2d roots so while there's no 2d segments it's closest to it as possible i'm excited to uh to see this i actually have never gotten hands on time with this so one of the very few Sonic games, actually. Yeah, it actually, it's not bad. I kind of like it. It has it has its moments. <laughs> it, okay, like it, everything. <laughs> yeah, but for the most part... Long time no see. Sonic, check this out. Oh, and it's got that lovely voice acting. Yeah. <laughs> Tails just, his voice kept degrading, sounding more and more girly with every game and show and... Until finally they gave him a, a somewhat masculine voice. Otherwise he just sounded dumb. Sounds like an invitation to party. <laughs> what are we gonna do, Sonic? <laughs> no worries. <laughs> this one. Come to think of it, he is kinda dumb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's party. Ooh, the eggman, nice. Yeah. It's Robotnik. That's his real name. Was this one of the levels that were? Actually, yes, I think. Um, okay. And I, when I did that live playthrough of Sonic Generations, one of them was Seaside Hill. Yeah, this looks very familiar. Well, I have to say, I think this version of Seaside Hill was better than the version in Sonic Generations. Got it. How so? How would you say? Because it didn't try to flip between 2D and 3D. Okay. Yeah. Because the, that particular level the flipping between 2d and 3d on generations was really bad oh yeah that's you were saying that it was really hard to control sometimes because you yeah just switch all of the all of the previous 2d and 3d segments on the on that game were fine but for some reason this remake on generations didn't fare very well what happens from time to time yeah, this is actually has some interesting um, RPG-ish elements. You can actually level up your characters as you play through a level. Really? Oh, that's yeah. neat. He the, collects these little color-coded power cores, and okay. you see on their little portrait icons up there, little white dots represent what level, 
Like right now, okay. Knuckles is at level one. So that means I can do a combo where he creates a little flame ring. Oh, cool. And if I were to level up that to level two, it would create, well, I, this just creates, level one creates a shockwave. Level two creates a flame ring. And level three creates a um, molten volcano that just starts spewing rocks. Sweet. <laughs> and I take it at the beginning of every level that's reset? Yep. Okay. So you get that by defeating enemies, going to a checkpoint, or finding boxes, stuff like that. Okay. And cool. Tails, because this also has the nice team element that I kind of like, where you have a team leader. Which it, you have your... it looks like you can switch between all three of them. Then. Yeah, so here's Sonic as the team leader. This is this is basically speed formation. If you're going as fast as you can, everyone lines up in a row. Sonic does all his moves, everyone follows. If I switch to Knuckles, this is more melee. I can smash stuff, bust stuff open. Um, I can do this little spinny thing where it whirls everyone around. Okay. And if I grab the other two in my hands, I can dunk them as like a ranged cool. attack. So um, I would assume that you're running really fast with Sonic, you see something you need to, to smash, you can switch on the fly? Yep. Cool. That is really neat. Yeah, and then there's the couple plat the platforming elements, which can be a little clumsy. Um, you usually go for the flying formation with tails. Oh, cool. Where you then you have a flight meter, so you can only fly for so long. Okay. But then you fly. But that is cool. And as you level up with tails, he can toss his the, his friends. And the the higher level you are, the more powerful his toss is. Oh, like if you were to need to get up a wall, or what do you mean by toss? To destroy enemies. Oh, okay. Gotcha. When when cool. flying. And if I, I, this is a neat game, that's cool how that's set up. Cool. Yeah, this is one of my favorite 3D Sonic games. I mean, Sonic Adventure is sort of nostalgia that I kind of like it, but if I were to go, go back and play Sonic Adventure right now, it is absolutely broken. <laughs> this is at least um, very playable and very fun. I mean, it, it's certainly not the best Sonic game, but for a three for a slightly modern 3D Sonic. It is very, very capable. Yeah. Aside from the voice acting. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. We can overlook that. <laughs> it, it actually also has a kind of neat, um, somewhat obvious mystery plot. Where you're like fighting all these Eggman fakes or something, trying to find uh, the Eggman real one or something. It, Turns out to not be Eggman, you know, something like, something like that. <laughs> it's nothing. It's, yeah. It's a little different from the standard. Oh, Meg, Eggman's taking over the world. We gotta stop him. And then you defeat Eggman, and he's all upset and surprised and whatnot. <laughs> Level up. Got it. Oh, I missed, him. I missed the rainbow rings. Oh, I was just going to ask what those giant rings were for. Thanks for telling us. Bonus points. <laughs> cool. Okay. What are the exclamation marks? Are those enemies then? The, the um, thing below the exclamation marks? The enemies? Yeah. Okay. There is a extremely rudimentary stealth kind of AI thing with the enemies. Okay. Where the enemies can see your presence and whatever, where they'll start off either sleeping or just marching around, and if they see you, then they'll start attacking. Oh, okay. It's, it's very rudimentary. <laughs> it's... No. I, I'm not saying by any means that there is legitimate stealth in this game. <laughs> but it is kind of neat, you know, just a, a little added 
thing to the game. Uh huh. Makes it a little bit more interesting, I guess. There, <laughs> but actually, I should say there are levels that require actual stealth. Oh, that seems weird of a Sonic game. <laughs> yeah, you're not playing a Sonic. You're playing as that chameleon dude. Oh, okay. Um, I got you. So, yeah, they are not the best levels. I mean, this is a Sonic game. You, you don't play stealth. <laughs> Yeah, that just seems weird. Sonic is like, go a million miles an hour, you know, get done with everything fast. Yeah, that, that's the thing with some of the other teams, because you like have... Oh, let's see. You have a bunch of different teams of three from the you know, expanded cast. Um, team Dark with Shadow, that's I think the only other cool team. The, Okay. Team Chaotix with the old, the, they, they brought back the old Knuckles Chaotix crew, which is kind of okay. a nice nod to the old um, unknown 32-bit game. Um, theirs are a little more objective-based, which are a little weird and kind of, I don't know. Oh yeah, here, Team Blast. Watch this. What the heck? And I just blew up everything in existence. Not bad. Wow, I was so confused at what was going on. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, you charge up a team blast that you hit the Z button, and then okay. it, you basically just do this fancy cinematic thing and blow up all the enemies around. Okay. All right. So what was the, uh, above the three characters, um, how they're laid out, there was that bar that was the team blast that's the team blast okay because i saw it like go down when you said that okay cool uh what score did i get i Andy. didn't use all my strength i was better at sonic generations <laughs> this is neat this is really cool yeah then they released this for the GameCube, PS2, and Xbox, I believe. It was one of the first totally cross-platform um, Sonic games. A sea palace. I really like when they do that. I like when no matter what platform you choose is best for you, that you can play the games you like. Yeah. That's neat. Especially with Sonic, now that he doesn't have a console to really call home. Yeah. It's a nice just to, just to give them all. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing worse than getting all pumped up about a game and then you're like, crap, I need an Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> or something. Seriously, Kale sounds like he has a cold. <laughs> Somebody voice acting there just holding their nose or something. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, ouch. That came out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. It would. Come on. There we go. Skydiving. Oh, yeah, the special stage key. You have to. I think it's every. It's Act 2. If you can keep the key at the end of the stage, you go to a special stage to get the Chaos Emerald. So by keeping the key, like if, if you, you were get, to hit. get hit and lose your coins, it goes away. Yep. Oh, got it. And I think it's the second stage bonus. On the second stage, if you get to the bonus level, then you get a chance to get the emerald. And cool. if you get all the emerald, then it unlocks the final boss with the real ending kind of thing. Ah, wall jump. Love this. So there's actual multiple endings then. Yeah, each team has their own unique ending, and then if you get all the Chaos Emeralds, um, then you get the true ending with all the teams. But you basically all work together to beat the final boss. That's cool. Yeah, I like how this is kept um, very on rails. As yeah. A, as opposed to Sonic Adventure. 
Well, they, they tried to be like Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time and all this other stuff. Yeah. Yes, this, this is kind of how Sonic is. You know? Yep. But I guess I'm used to the old school Sonic. Well, at least he'll carry it at night. Are those big turtles? Yes, very oh. giant turtles. Cool. Sonic, something about that robot shield, will you? These are really neat levels, though. They did a really good job with these. Yeah, they're they're pretty unique, and the especially like the haunted mansion level. That is a really cool kind of trippy level. There's like outside the haunted man, outside the haunted fortress, and then there's the haunted mansion. Okay. Some pretty trippy, cool stuff. Cool. Yeah, they did a good job of breaking these levels up, adding you know things to keep you on your toes. It seems like. Yeah, and I like Sonic's um homing attack slash air dash. Bailey just fire forward. Oh, come on. Oh! Come on, come on. In the center. There we go. What, was that a fan? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You gotta do the skydiving move to catch the <laughs> draft. That's me. Oh. Come on, come on. Warm up, warm <laughs> like up. There we go. <laughs> They don't always I would respond. assume there's like a certain button sequence you have to hold to do that. You just hold the A button, but it doesn't oh, always shit. respond very well. Okay, let's see if I can get this key and if we can get to a bonus stage at the end of this. Oh, that'd be awesome. The bonus stages are kind of cool. Oh, right, this thing. This was actually in the Sonic Generations remake of this. <laughs> Get out of the way. Here we go. Oh, did I lose Knuckles? Where is he? There he is. Ah, oh! Looks like his buddy has joined the party. A rock party. Ha ha ha. <laughs> and... Oh, it looks like we get to do a special stage. Yes! Yes! For some reason, that's one rock party I wouldn't want to do. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. So, how is the... Uh, Guess that's about it! Are the bonus stages, like, coin stages? You try to get a bunch of coins, or...? Um, actually, no. <laughs> oh, okay. They're fashioned very much after Sonic 2, but they have nothing to do with the rings. Okay. Rings. I keep saying coins. Excuse yeah. Me. <laughs> Emerald Rings. challenge. Now in these, I actually have to catch the emerald. Oh, so you're chasing after? Or? Yes, I'm chasing after okay. this tomb, and I collect these power balls <laughs> <laughs> to get a to chart to charge up my boost that I then okay. use to try and catch it. So I gotta. Got to keep collecting these things, otherwise I'll never be able to catch it. So, what is the thing on the bottom of your boost, or is that the level no. until you're done? No, that is until the end of the stage where I can, I basically lose. Okay. If the emerald gets to the end of that bar, then I lose. Okay. The boost is up in that team blast area of their of the little HUD. Yeah. And do you have to fill it all the way up, or you, you can use it at any time? It looks like. I can use it as long as there is, as long as it's gone, filled up the yellow portion at least. Okay. Yeah, these, these are neat special stages, but they don't control the greatest. Okay. It's very easy to wind up on the walls. Ah! I forgot, if you tap it repeatedly, you go faster. Oh, okay. I forgot about that. Always just holding it, I'm just sitting there trudging along behind it. <laughs> yeah, some of the later ones get really hard because there's obstacles and not as many orbs. 
Okay. And with the whole the whole tube thing, you get you start climbing the walls. They're kind of clumsy. That's probably the worst part of the whole game. Oh, Eggman. Oh yeah, and then these have the this game has the all the bosses are actually boss chases. Boss chase? Yeah, you actually don't you don't get in a little arena and duke it out with Eggman. You actually have to chase after him while attacking. Ah. Are you playing right now? Yes. I'm see frozen screen. Okay. There we go. That's weird. As you say, it sounds like you're playing, but yeah. Then occasionally he'll drop down in a center little area for you to wail on him. That looks like a really unfair. That thing is huge. Oh uh, yeah, but look at this. I'm, I'm creaming him. See, I just I just totaled him. Already? Yeah. The first right. one's pretty easy. Oh, he's got another thing in there. Ooh, I got an A. Ready for the junk pile. Took me 50 seconds. That's something else. Uh, yep. So what was the stage? Yeah, the next stage after this is a another chemical plant ripoff. Oh, okay. Grand Metropolis. This one starts introducing you to the Looks like um, lever the puzzles, are okay. which are not very, they're Let's kind of Eggman a pain. And show them the real power of teamwork. This must be an automated energy plant. Energy plant? So that's energy yeah, plant. Yeah, Apple's energy plant. <laughs> yeah, got it. Uh, I thought you were doing just fine before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that is probably a pretty good look at Sonic Heroes for the GameCube. Um, a pretty awesome game. Yeah, I would play this in a heartbeat. Not, not quite the same caliber. Or, um, I don't know what. It's not quite as good as old Sega Genesis Sonic games. It, it has its rough edges. But definitely, if you're looking for a 3D Sonic game, you know, you just have to have Sonic in 3D. Um, definitely check this out. And we will see you next time on another random retro bonus round.